Let me tell you the story of the paper crane. In this video, I will be showing you how I create a paper crane. The paper that I am using right now is from a Daiso store in Osaka, Japan. It only cost me about a dollar, 50 Philippine pesos or 100 yen. Okay, Hoshi-chan, let's start the tutorial. The art of folding paper is called origami. It dates back to the 6th century AD, and since paper back then were expensive, origami was reserved for ceremonies and special occasions. It originates from the words ori, meaning fold, and kami, meaning paper. One of the most famous origami is the paper crane, or in Japanese, orizuru. Since I've learned to create paper cranes, I would create one when I get my hands on a piece of paper that could be made into one. Whether it be a scratch paper, receipt, or a piece of paper that is meant for origami. It is said that if you create a thousand paper cranes, you are granted one wish. There is this famous story of a girl named Sadako Sasaki. Not this Sadako. She was one of the victims of the atomic bomb that dropped on Hiroshima. Though she did not perish, she developed alchemia because of being exposed to radiation. She attempted to create a thousand paper cranes but she wasn't able to finish them all. She died when she was 12 years old, and her classmates would finish the remaining paper cranes to complete a sen bazuru, or a thousand paper cranes. I have started just recently counting each paper crane I make, and currently made 17 so far. 983 to go. Maybe I should just wish on a wishing well instead. We are almost finished with this origami paper crane video. Hopefully you were able to catch up, but if you weren't, then feel free to rewind this video and play it again. So guys, this is how I create a paper queen, and hopefully this helps you out. So thank you guys for watching, and don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe.